Sherman and Tingle in the morning. It all kicks off on Sunday. Bear season kicking off on Sunday at Soldier Field against the Packers. And uh, all throughout this week, we have been talking with TV sport anchors on what their predictions were of the bear season this upcoming year. So far, we've had Luke Canellis, who gave us his prediction. I think the Bears will finish up 9-8. and eight. And then we had Ryan Cheverini, who had his prediction. Yeah, from ABC7. I'm going to say eight games. So they're going to be 8-9. Eight and nine on Eight the games. All right. Eight and then he also said in that phone call, he was talking trash about Thomas Sulo's Italian food at that restaurant where they got dishes named after him. He La said, his, Carola, is just, that's he said right. his is bootleg. That's, that's right. Who we uh, we have right now from WGN, Pat Thomas Sulo. Uh, go ahead and fire some shots over the bow. The bow. Go ahead, Pat. At who? Shiverini? What do you want me to kick a puppy next? <laughs> <laughs> See? Exactly. What's happening, Big Daddy? Come on. That, that, that guy wants to go. That's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. I will destroy him. I love him, by the way. He's a great guy. <laughs> but he's got tiny meatballs in his, in his dish. Tiny. When, you, when, you're, when the description of your dish says tiny, little tiny meatballs. Well, tiny meatballs, you're disqualified from the competition. See? Ah! Shots over the bow. What is your dish? Uh, my dish is gnocchi tamasulo, which is, uh, is, is fresh gnocchi with roasted sausage and rapini with garlic and oil. You see, he says it differently, too. He says gnocchi. Yeah, what, what? That's, that's what Chivarini says, right? Because he's not a real Italian. He's got blonde hair. He's, not, he's, he's, like, he's like 30% Italian. Like his father's mother is probably Italian. Oh. And he's claiming this. I love it. Come I on. I love it. Look at him. He's too pretty to be Italian. <laughs> yeah, I love this. this is, it's like the real anchorman, you know? You guys have the street fights. See, all right, Pat, all... Let's, let's talk first real quick. What did you think about the game last night? What was your take on that? Well, I mean... Not surprising, but not shocking. You know, I think the uh, I think the, I think it was shocking to see him go for a fake punt inside his own twenty on his second drive of the game. That was pretty shocking. Uh, but dude, like I, I hate to say it because they're in the division, but that's a fun team. Yeah, right. That's Lions. a fun. It's a hard team not to root for, especially now that Montgomery is playing for them. But that is a hard team not to like, right? They've been. T- it's it's like it's like the Bears, man. They've been terrible forever. Right, and you, they're finally putting it together. It's hard not to feel good about that team, but I think you know, you know, I think coming in, a lot of people figured that would be the team to beat in the in the in the division, right? Because I think everybody feels that the Vikings were a fluke last year. They showed that in the playoffs, um, you know. And I think last night kind of proves like they're that team is for real. They're legit. Yep, I bet on them last night too, especially, and I won. I love that, especially taking out the. Chiefs. What'd you win? What, what were the odds? What do you bet? I want to know what kind of action we're no, getting. I, on this game. One of those, what, you know, what are you throwing you down? One hundred fifty. What are we doing? No, no, it was five bucks. You know those pools where you you, you oh the pool. There's a bunch of people that put five bucks in, and then you all pick the winners. Yeah, that's what I did. So I took yeah, the yeah. Lines. All right. All right. Well, you heard what Luke Canellis said. You heard what Ryan Cheverini said. So now, what does Pat Tomasulo say about? what his prediction is of this season for the Bears. I do not have uh, high expectations. Uh, I'm going to go, I think they'll be better. I think they can't help but be better. they got a better, they got a better roster. I'm going to say 7-10. Seven 7-10. And ten. Seven seven and ten. Ten. Okay, I, I get yeah. that. Why 7-10? and ten? Yeah. What, what, is, what is not floating your boat? Oh, God. I'm, I'm afraid to say it, but uh, I, 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 listen, I hope. With, with all of my heart, that things turn out really well at the quarterback position. Uh, but I have my, my sincere and strong doubts that it will. Um, just uh, based on what I've seen, you know. Um, Do you think he's going to keep it on I'm, the ground? I, uh, I think by default he'll end up keeping it on the ground a lot more than he probably wants to. You know, here's the thing, and I, you know, I don't want, and I hate doing this because it's going to come back to bite me. And I don't want to sound like a naysayer, but here's the thing: there's there's a difference between learning an offense, right, and and making throws you should be making. You know, when you've watched every game and every play for how many seasons now? Two two seasons. There are a lot of throws that, that should have been made easily and a lot of completions. The guys were not open all of the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they were open some of the time and the throws weren't getting there. And yeah, the line was an issue and, 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 you know, the offense was an issue. And I, listen, I'm hoping it all comes together and I'm hoping that 
the training camp was just working out the kinks, and it's all going to be great. But if you were a but betting I, man. But I, I have my doubts. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's fair enough. Hey, that's okay. You know? You're allowed to have your opinion, and it's, it's respectable that you have one. Well, so Thomas yeah. says seven. But I'm not, like, I don't, I'm not trying to be like one of those, like, I'm not trying to be like one of those curmudgeonly newspaper columnists who's saying it. it's all going to hell. Like, I hope that it all, I hope that I'm wrong. Well, I guess we'll find totally out get it. On, get it. on Sunday what the, what the pace of the season will be. And can you announce when the Italian street fight's going to happen between you and Cheverini? Is there a date on that? I'm not fighting him. The guy's a Division One football player. I'm going <laughs> to just verbally assault him because I can beat him there. Well, you're allowed to have a weapon. You can have a weapon. He can't have weapons. Oh, he can can't have, have a weapon, no, but I can? Yes, absolutely. We make the rules here. All right. Right. I'm going to go old school, slingshot. Right. I'm going to go biblical. Beautiful. Right. You're the man, Pat. Thank All you so much, brother. Pat Tomasulo from Thank w you, guys. Gen. All right, thanks, bud. The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive, Chicago's classic rock.